welcome back to my channel the sarthak show where we discuss about tech career product and life and today we have a very special guest with us ayushi she is working as a sd3 at swiggy she has a very interesting journey that we will deep down uh, deep dive into and uncover what are the things that she has done to reach at this level uh, what are the ch different challenges that she has faced and what are the different learnings that you can get out of her life journey so yeah thank you so much ayushi for joining in for this podcast and taking out this special time for us and would love to know more about you can you share a little bit about yourself hi sarthak thank you for having me here as Adak was mentioning. So yeah, I'm Ayushi and I'm working as a SD3 in Swiggy. So a little on my professional and educational background, I graduated from IIIT Allahabad in year 2017. I pursued BTEC from Inter Information Technology and just after my college, I joined Morgan Stanley, Bangalore location in the data science department. As the name suggests that the, that dealt with implementing solutions and providing AI solutions on top of business problems like fraud analytics or providing providing a next best action for the users. The users are mainly the consumers of the wealth management. Close to around two years after that, I wanted to explore the engineering part of the same. So I joined as a MLE, that is an ML engineer in Flipkart in the team ML platform. Mm -hmm. So that now dealt with taking care of the of any model or any AI solution lifecycle, right from creating the model to productionizing it on the production environment. Then now, right now, I'm in Swiggy in the security team. So my team deals with all things security in Swiggy. We try to build solutions and systems of, to remove or deep down the security concerns that are there with, in terms of information security. And that uh, now touches different domains. It can be network security, it can be application security, it can be even your data security that is securing the customers, the restaurant uh, vendors and the DE's data. So yeah, that's a little bit about I think a very awesome journey over here with such wonderful instances and hops over here. So, and I'm amazed to see that, that you're working in the security part because every day we see and interact with a lot of digital applications out there. Data is that one core component that is across every other web app or any kind of applications, any interaction that we do. So securing that takes a lot of stuff and effort. Kudos to you and your team for <laughs> securing our data. <laughs> I'm happy that our data is safe at Swiggy. Definitely. And an interesting thing that you mentioned that journey started from more in the data science team and then you switched over to machine learning and then towards the security part of it would love to know more about how that evolution worked for you like how did your interest peak into data science and then when did you decide to change your domain and how sure sure so the interest in data science actually started with my college in fact i took an elective that is a major in machine learning in college and that is where i was interested in this domain i did few of my projects in machine learning domain in my college so i wanted to pursue that particular domain. In Morgan Stanley, the interesting part is that you join as a grad, then you have a certain amount of training. It is a six month training, which is known as a TAP training. Mm -hmm. After that, you are open to all options that which team do you want to join? And the team would also have a conversation with you if they feel fit. So it is more of a discussion in for both of the parties. So I dealt with my interest in data science. I, pursue, I applied for that position. There I explored this part, especially it was uh, exciting for me how how data science would work in a fintech environment because that has to be dealt with very the data is very sensitive there i had a very nice journey there around two years i worked in that team then i wanted to explore the engineering part of it as to how actually that works in a big scale or in the production environment how the models are actually being used there so i got an opportunity with flipkart to work as a mle there then i was exploring as i was exploring the engineering part of it then my interest went into more more back in development and then I shifted towards security in Swiggy. I feel that an engineer is more of a problem solver, right. be it any domain. So yeah, for me, I like trying different stuff in different domains, as you can see from my journey. But the journey so far has been very good. Yeah, and that's the best part of it. I can totally agree that that is the best part that you, as an engineer, you are a problem solver. You get, get to experience and solve different kinds of problems. It couldn't be from any domain. It's yeah. just that you have to put your right skills and strength towards the, uh, the problem and you will find the solution. It's the best part that you are exploring and uh, I think uh, it's motivating for me enough that we should always explore what are the next steps. You don't have to be very stuck in very same domain or same kind of things every time. You can explore and different things. And also it shows that the industry is supporting in itself because uh, yeah. you switch from one domain to another, the other companies are also able to hire you. They are not stringent about that you are not coming from this domain or you need explicit experience in this domain itself. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that is very appreciative of today's industry and the in fact the companies that I have had interest 
interaction with they all were very warm and uh, nobody at least that is my experience and i want to call it out that you should not be afraid if you are say working in any one domain you should not be afraid to switching it to the other the tech right now is very welcome like it is it, it is very in, inclusive of all the domains all the tech stacks and everything so right. it is very open right now yeah anybody who is looking to make their change into tech industry and whatever experience or background they are coming from if they are eligible for certain role and if as an eligible they are interested in certain role they show the right skill set i'm i'm sure the companies are always happy to onboard them and make some exceptions yeah so i wanted to know i, I know that it's been 6 years and beyond that you have interviewed at morgan and things have might have been changed but how was your journey at morgan look like what was your interview experience and how was the team structure or work look like at there so interestingly i had an off campus placement in mm-hmm. morgan i had a on case so i actually participated in a hackathon morgan used to have this hackathon every year i'm not sure right now it is happening or not but earlier at least till 3 4 years back it used to happen every year i participated in that and few of the contestants of the candidates the top performers i believe were called upon for the process then we were interviewed in mumbai location it was a usual way our interview process happens it was a usual 3 to 4 rounds of process wherein the first 2 to 3 were technical rounds and the fourth was a many managerial round okay so and now once you enter into morgan there is a very elaborate program for the college grads that is known as tap program mm-hmm. so that is a 6 month training and again that training happened in mumbai so the training actually it is like uh, preparing yourself to be a software engineer to actually work with the company what is the code of conduct and in fact the tech teachings that they give they have this whole tap team that is actually guiding you and teaching you throughout the program they have a very set curriculum very organized course for the same so now it is like a graduation from that program after the 6 month uh, at the end of the 6 month they open all the openings that are out there that they have preserved for the college grads and you can apply to all you can apply to some like whatever is your choice whatever you are interested in you apply to those positions and then there is a discussion there is just one discussion with the team members on how is the work are you comfortable is is the team finding you the right fit you are finding them the right fit mm-hmm. so then there is a mapping happening between the teams okay. so i got mapped luckily to the data science team in bangalore which was my first priority there is this normal i mean now you start your actual company journey or your tech journey in general Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, looks like an exhaustive program which which my it is taking six But months. But definitely to... fun. I mean, yeah, it was definitely fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the best part would be that you did it in offline mode because it was before pandemic correct. so yeah, things were very interesting at that time. Correct, so, correct. Yeah. <laughs> because because I feel that in this current scenarios whatever boot camps or trainings are happening online mode they're still good then they should be there but still the offline feel of it catching up with the team how things work because coming from college directly into a yeah. college, it changes a lot of different things it is a total new atmosphere for you and learning happens at a exponential pace. Yeah and interestingly if Morgan invites you to Mumbai office and gives you a 6 months exhaustive training about everything around the ecosystem and world yeah interesting Yeah. And so moving towards your Flipkart part of it, how was your experience at Flipkart in terms of how did you apply it interview? Was it a referral or was it the recruiter reached out to you? And how did that shaped into the work that you did at Flipkart? Sure. So my interview process in Flipkart was via a referral program. So mm-hmm. I reached out to a friend of mine and he referred to me in Flipkart. We had this whole process. I think it was again 3 to 4 rounds of interview in which the first was the machine coding round wherein you have to code out or they'll give you a solution and you have to code out the solution end to end they will be judging you on the basis of it depends on the levels that you are applying for it depends on the scope of the problem so you are judged on the basis of that in the second i think two rounds are ds algorithm rounds the final one that is the fourth one is your managerial round again mm-hmm. yeah i think then it's on the similar lines of it just the difficulty of the questions may vary according to the Correct. Co- how that shaped out into the work that you did what was the difference actually that you observed working at morgan and then moving towards flipkart what would be the differences then moving from data science to machine learning team or maybe something from a banking sector towards a product based company yeah so actually this comes a lot because it was a very stark switch but i mean as i was telling you earlier also to me these all things come as a problems to be solved that is a very nice 
environment in tech industry in general that day actually takes in your background and then tries to map to you to a very specific and a team that would help you grow and help the team grow because of my background i was mapped to a mle in the ml platform team the change was there because uh, earlier it was a typical data science team here it was involving more of engineering side of it so yeah definitely the change was there but it was a sweet change it was a good change to the question that how was the difference for a service or product based industry frankly to me both were tech i actually did not felt a very major change apart from the domain of course but the tech in general i feel is more or less and that is a good thing because the people now feel welcomed in every industry in every company because the culture that people are maintaining right now are, are very good it was not like in the initial stages i was actually very nervous because it was a major change firstly the on the base of the company then on the base of the domain but it was very nicely taken up by my team members as well as in flipkart in general okay interesting and i think i can vouch for that since if you look everything as a problem then what it changes is the the processes that the company has set up everything else remains the same because if, if it's going to be on the similar languages it's going to be the Correct. similar architecture and how the things work and function how you have to handle the problems and the requirements that is the solution that need rest all remains similar correct correct yeah but an interesting change that i feel that should be there is about how the work culture changes because you're working from an mnc to a startup and how things work in that way is some somewhat different generally what are the different things that you expected in terms of your teams or maybe how the work culture was there in terms of maybe other things that you experienced were different from working at morgan and flipkart so yeah i mean definitely morgan was a mnc so the processes were a little different it had to incorporate all the people who are working across the globe versus flipkart was was currently i think it's only in the india location so it had to just incorporate the bangalore office per se for example very i mean i'll give you very small small examples that were affecting not actually affecting but that were a little change so we would we used to have these us calls mm-hmm. and that used to happen after 7 pm there were no such calls here we used to have it all the time i mean even on chai ke charcha we used to have these calls then there is this bbd thing so it's a whole fair that happens in flipkart whenever the bbd is around the corner so that was is really new to me the company actually celebrates it like a fair people are very excited for one event for all over the year if you talk about because morgan was a fintech and especially when i was part of a data science team it was actually taking care of very sensitive data there were actually that, the way you have suggested there were very standard processes that were happening for each and everything and the processes would go right from your team till the next level here in flipkart because i was part of more of an engineering background and i didn't have to deal with say sensitive data at least in my team so the processes were more inside my team only okay yeah i think that is so true that you mentioned how things function and that is one of the advantages that i have also faced when i switched from my consultancy world towards uh, the product based phone pay because i don't have to experience those post 7 pm calls <laughs> that is a delight in itself because uske baad jo aapka work life balance theek hota hai it's a different story altogether you get to experience that change and it brings a lot of different perks so as a startup i feel that i have less kind of processes i don't i'm not overburdened by a lot of different things that i have to take care of it's just more forward communications and things that happen at a very fast pace but it is bound to grow like today we have advantage that we were working in that startup culture but when it grows it is bound to have those processes and structures yeah right. ah, i definitely agree because both of them have their own set of pros and cons because right. in startup phase it has to ship out product it cannot focus on processes but right. once it grows at to a certain stage it needs those processes to ship out products more in terms of good quality on standards and everything so yeah and now when you are grown so much and now you have to deal not maybe just one office or one location or maybe one country it will be across the globe so right. yeah that's so true that is so true so interestingly that you made the switch the one question that is how do a person decide that when to make that switch or what is that i would say inner voice comes in a way like i should make a switch right now or this is good time to move towards a different company different domain or different stream altogether for me it took me some time but i would like to put it out that now is the good thing mm-hmm. so whenever you are feeling that okay i want to try this domain or i want to explore this side of things in a production environment or maybe in a company culture in terms of say i want to th- now there are two things so sometimes people do pursue their interest on the basis of say taking up some courses reading up some books that is out of your interest now if you want to say dig deeper and you want to check okay how is the company maybe any company for that matter working in so and so 
particular domain and i want to get a flavor of that then you can actually make this which you can try out you will actually the thing is that when you talk to people out there even in an interview process or maybe you can just reach out to someone maybe via this show people would be reaching out you can you actually feel and you actually get to know okay what are the options available for me what would be there inside because for me at that time i might not have that clarity that what would i be working on but i had that clarity that i wanted to see the engineering part of whatever be it and maybe i'm not like i'll not like it maybe i'll like it but that is the risk that it comes with